you know, as these populations migrate outside of Africa and went north, um, in Europe and Asia, you see lots of mutations for pigmentation. So changing your skin color as you go to climates that have less and less light. And what's interesting there is you see all these different pigmentation mutations, but they're different ones that occurred in Europe and Asia in all different populations trying to drive to that. And Presumably, there are lots more. Yeah, right. So, you know, you see lots of metabolism, so changing our uh, to diets in, in all populations. You see them all over the place. Um, and then we have all sorts of new ones that we're interested in. Uh, in Asia, you see uh, hair and sweat, so something to do with maybe thermoregulation. Um, and then you can see that in a very, very recent time, um, there's been mutations to high altitude. And Pardis has found that one of the greatest drivers of our evolution has been disease. One of the classic examples is um, the sickle cell mutation that protects from um, malaria um, that emerged in Africa sometime within the last 10,000 years. What is the impact of genetic research like this on our understanding of human evolution? It's, it's absolutely revolutionized it. I mean, the ability to mine these large data sets and start looking at many, many people throughout their genomes, we're at a place now where we can um, you know, create so many different hypotheses as to what's driving evolution and get down to the single unit that changed and then be able to explore that.